Citizens First District, Ms. Del Bene will make a short opening statement. Thank you. I want to thank um, my co-chair on the Internet of Things Caucus and our chairman, um, as well as the ranking member, for um, calling this hearing on this important subject. Um, when we examine the way that, that Internet connected products and sensors are being used in what's called the Internet of Things, from home appliances to personal wearables, it might be easy to conclude that the promise of the Internet of Things is limited only by American ingenuity. But we have an emerging set of challenges and opportunities to address for both innovators and for consumers. To start, we need to make sure that we update existing laws to reflect the way the world works today and where we are headed in the future. That means, for example, updating the Electronic Communications Privacy Act to ensure that data on a server is protected by the same warrant standard as a document in a file cabinet. For the multi-billion dollar Internet of Things economy to be successful, we need to be responsible stewards of policy. For example, consumers must feel they can trust their devices will be secure and private, not vulnerable to hacking or spying. Devices must be able to talk to each other, and that means forging a path of, to adoption of uniform, preferably international standards. Um, regulatory agencies must find ways to strike the right balance between encouraging innovation and firmly upholding their duty to protect the public health and safety, particularly in the realm of connected cars. And as all of these devices collect unprecedented amounts of data, they hold great promise for things like health research. But we must work with state stakeholders to create a privacy landscape that Internet of Things users can understand that provides individuals with control of their, over their own data. Again, I want to thank the chairman and the ranking member for calling today's important hearing and setting the stage for what I hope will be a productive and informative series of hearings on the role that Congress and our committee can play in creating an environment where Internet of Things innovation can prosper and consumer protection is at the forefront. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and I yield back. I thank you, and thank you for your